Hey y'all, today we're gonna be painting the walls. <laughs> So me and dad are gonna be painting the inside walls today. We're gonna to be using this airless sprayer and I have never used one before. So my dad's probably gonna be doing most of the spraying cause he knows how to do it. And then I'll get him to show me how to do it and hopefully I'll be able to do a little bit as well. Today we're just gonna be priming the drywall and the ceilings. Hopefully in the next few days we will start getting the color on. Before we started painting, I did a good bit of prep work. I swept off all the walls to remove any loose drywall dust. I vacuumed the floors to get rid of the dust so we didn't have any blowback onto the walls. I also masked all the windows and any other surface that we didn't want any paint to get on. So here's the sprayer we're going to be using. I got it at Lowe's. And I got this 40 inch extension so that we can use that when we do the ceilings. And we're going to be using this Kills drywall. Um, it's a primer and a sealer. All right. Put this clean bucket and actually it hooks right here on the hook. I know we was up at the church and Miller moved the moved thing and we didn't have a hook and he turned the paint over on the red carpet. <laughs> but anyway, we got it cleaned up. And, uh, you got all of the paint out of the carpet? Oh yeah. We oh. just kept sponging it out with rags. And well, I guess if they were scared wet. to death, they thought they ruined it. And I said, no, we can do that. It's just latex. All right, that's good. No lakes with water. If the water don't leak, it? so what'd you do? So you yeah, press that put, twice first. Put this on start. Press that. Press too. that twice, and then turn it on. Yeah, and then it. And then when the it primed, and I push the lever down. Once it's, you see the fluid coming through. Okay, you see the fluid coming through here and coming so out in the bucket. This, this was up to start that with was, for prime, and then once yeah. the fluid started coming up, you push this down. Right, once okay. it comes through freely, and then. <clears throat> You leave it on once and it'll stop when you push that down it'll build up pressure and stop then you take this and you spray and it'll come back on like it just did and it'll start coming through and reese you take the tip off it doesn't if you did that with a tip on it blows stuff out in the floor <laughs> so you do the same thing with paint before you put pressure in your line straighten out your nose <laughs> because if you don't you'll get what i got right here <laughs> a bowl constrictor You have to, if you straighten it out first, you don't have this truck. Yeah, okay, we've got that. All right, so we're going to prime again with the paint. Right. And make so sure you don't have the tip on the this thing. Up. Press twice. <laughs> uh oh, got to put it on start, don't I? Yeah. Ours, we never used to do that. So put it on start, and you press that twice. <laughs> All right, now we can, I'm going to leave it low, uh, maybe just a little bit until we get the uh, paint running through the hose. See, that way you want, because this thing blasts at times, so you put it in an angle like that, like going around. Mm -hmm. I think that's it, don't you? Oh, is it all paint? So you yeah, spray yeah. it until so you do it until it's nothing but paint coming out. Real thick. See how it run down thick on the wall? Yeah, so all the water's out of the line now. Right. And now we need our little wet rag to wipe this off. Yeah. So we can seal it off good with the tip again. Now we can put the tip back on. I'll get it started if you want me to. And then you can tighten it down. 
I turn up to line. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. Oh, that's Steve's adjustment there. Turn it back the other way. Oh, I thought that's how you had it. That's how you had it a minute ago. Did I? Yeah. Hold on. Yes, it is. That's my adjustment. <laughs> that's not. All right. So he likes it sideways like this, but you can also have it up and down just depending on how you want the uh, paint to uh, fan out. Yeah, you did. You went real slow. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that's that's good. That's, that's paint, you see. Try your top. Try your top. Yeah, don't get too much down below. Too much angle. There you go. After we were finished priming all the walls and ceilings, Dad went through and sanded. Then I brushed the walls off again to make sure we didn't have any dust. After that, Dad painted the ceilings. After the ceilings were painted and dried, I went and masked the ceilings so that we could paint the walls.
we did have a little bit of paint blowback onto the ceiling to keep this from happening. I held up the shield while dad sprayed. After we applied the finished coat of paint, I went back and I unmasked everything while the paint was still wet. If you don't do it when it's still wet, the paint might peel off the walls as you take the tape off. So this is the finished product. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Other than having to go back and touch up a few spots in the ceiling, it looks pretty good.